Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Packin from EasyRecipesWithAtwist.com and today I'm here with my friends at RecipeLion.com who asked me to produce a video on this beautiful carrot cake with lemon zest icing. So, if you like the idea, stay tuned! For this recipe you will need all-purpose flour, unbleached one, baking powder, baking soda, granulated sugar, couple of eggs, pumpkin pie spice, salt, uh, apple grated, carrots grated as well, uh, pecans, raisins, vegetable oil and vanilla extract. And for cream cheese icing you will need cream cheese, obviously, lemon, zest and juice, uh, icing sugar, salt and vanilla extract. Sift flour, baking soda and baking powder together. And I'm sifting my uh, pumpkin pie spices all together as well. It makes very light butter. One of my old school friends told me that you have to sift three times uh, flour for a carrot cake. Otherwise it won't be as fluffy. But probably I won't do it. Okay, everything is sifted. I'm salting it a little bit. About teaspoon or so. Adding sugar. And I'm adding all my nuts and uh, raisins. Mixing all together. This way, all the nuts and dry ingredients will be disposed evenly inside the cake. If you will add them later and they won't be coated with the flour, uh, they will sink to the bottom of the cake. So you will have nuts, seed, uh, nuts and raisins and then your cake. So I prefer it this way. Now you can add all the rest of the ingredients. Just mix them. Well inside. mix with the flour. Now I'm adding my eggs inside and oil. Oil all gone in and uh, vanilla extract. About a teaspoon or so. Mix all together. I want to tell you that this amount of butter makes quite a little cake. English cake loaf. So if you need large amount of cake, just double the amount of every ingredients. But for little family, I think this is more than enough cake. So transfer the cake to English cake loaf okay it's all there and pop to preheated oven for 350 Fahrenheit okay let's make our icing I'm making icing without butter and it's really good and rich icing so I'm taking my cream cheese softened it has to be softened and starting to mix it. Okay, I mixed a little bit the cream cheese. Now I'm adding lemon zest. About half of lemon worth. Just to let a little bit kick, lemon and the kick. Okay, now the zest is in. I'm adding I'm 
adding a little bit of uh, lemon juice, about a teaspoon, really tiny bit. Then sugar, icing sugar. I'm adding bit by bit and starting to mix it in. Be careful, it can splash. And the rest of the icing sugar. A little bit of vanilla extract. Just tiny half a teaspoon. Will be more than, than enough here. That's it. And mix well. Ah, a little bit of salt. Very important to bring all the flavors together. And mix it in. About three minutes. Just to let it rise and beat in a lot of uh, air. The cake is small but beautiful and smells great, like really, really, really good. Now, it has been about 15 to 20 minutes outside, I wanted to cool it a bit, otherwise the, the icing will melt. And I'm adding my icing on top. The amount of icing is exactly featured for this cake. If you make larger cake, double the amount of everything here. It's really, really, really... You see? I'm using all the icing without leftovers. Nice. Beautiful. This step is absolutely optional, but I love to add a little bit of pecans on top. Just for the beauty. It looks so good. So, if you like the idea, don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me, and cheers, Victoria. And share me on Facebook, Twitter, or everywhere. Love you all. And use big, large, large, blum, 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 blum.